Hi, I'm Russell White from Driver Safety Australia and welcome to this month's road safety tip. The topic for this month is rural driving. Now clearly when we're in a country area like we're in today, the types of roads and the types of conditions we're going to have to deal with are going to be different to the ones we find in suburban areas. You'll most likely find that the travelling speeds are significantly higher. We'll also find that the roads themselves are often very narrow and a lot more twisty than the suburban streets. Additional risks can also include slow moving vehicles, like farmers moving equipment from one paddock to the next, and of course there's also a greater risk of a collision with an animal. Never take evasive moves to avoid hitting animals. The fox you swerve to miss may put you in line for a head-on collision with a semi-trailer. Take extra care when travelling at dawn and dusk, as these are popular feeding times for native animals who are moving about looking for food. So again, scan the road and look as far ahead as possible for any sign of animal movement. The earlier you can pick up those clues, the sooner you can deal with a potential drama. Driving on a country road, it's again very important that you scan the road environment and look as far ahead down the road as you can. It's also important to be mindful of any change in the road condition itself. For example, if you're moving from bitumen to a gravel section. Obviously when you get to the gravel, the level of grip won't be the same as the grip that's offered on a bitumen surface. Always back off your speed before driving onto a gravel road. Also, the condition of the road itself may not be as good as what we find in suburban areas. Generally, the road shoulders can be weak and we can also encounter very large potholes. The other thing to consider is that usually country roads may not be very well signed, so take extra care to plan your trip before you head off. Getting lost on rural roads could take you well away from your destination and of course that can lead to a lot of frustration. So again, plan the trip and know where you're going. In many cases, the country roads are narrow, so take extra care when overtaking and be sure that if you do have to move off the road to allow another vehicle to pass, that you come back onto the road in a very gentle and progressive fashion. You certainly want to avoid any harsh movement of the steering wheel or any of the controls. On long straight stretches of country roads, it's easy to become bored and get fatigued. And with 20 to 30% of all road deaths due to fatigue, it's important that you rest adequately. Driving on a country road though can be very enjoyable and quite relaxing, but still you need to keep your wits about you and be aware of the potential risks. Until next time, drive safely.